Hi there, this is Carrie Karen, and you are watching a website use tutorial for editing your donor table. In order to edit the table, you must log in to the back end of your website. You will have a username and a password. Once you enter that information and log in, you'll be brought to the WordPress dashboard. That page will look something similar to this. In addition, you may see a copy of this video in this main area someplace. In order to edit the table itself, you're going to use the left-hand side navigation, and you're simply going to scroll down until you find the Table Press tab. And you can go ahead and click on All Tables. Um, once you click on All Tables, it will change screens, and you will be brought to a screen that looks like this that shows a list of your tables. Today we're going to be using the Withrow Class Honor Roll of Giving table and I will be using that table to show you how to edit the information within it. Once you're on this page you simply use your cursor and hover over the title of the table. Then you go ahead and click on the Edit button and when you click on that button another tab will open and it will look something like this page here. It will show you the table that you selected to edit. So we can see at the top of the page we have our table information. The table name, you can verify that you are in the correct table by verifying the name of the table. And we are going to scroll down and we see the data that is actually entered in the table. It works very similar to any other type of table. It has columns A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and it has rows 1 through 12. Um, we can use the information that we have in here and correlate it with a visual view of the front end by visiting the actual donor page. I do have that open in another tab. I'm, going to, I'm just going to click on that and show you that very quickly. Here is the table that we are going to be editing, and this is looking at that table from the front end. So you can see that we have uh, our different uh, columns that go across the top, and we have our different rows that go down the side. And we have 12 because the first row is a header row. Uh, the second row is additional titles for the columns. And then we have our rank, which is 1 through 10. OK, let's go back to the back end. Here in the back end, something that you uh, can do, you'll notice each of the uh, cells within the table have this little uh, triangular area at the bottom right-hand side. And if you hover your cursor over it, you get the little arrow. You can drag this down and make it bigger so that you can see what it is you're editing inside of each of these cells. All right, so we have our rank and we have our classes, we have our donors, um, and you can simply click into those areas and make the change. So in this case, I might hit my delete or my backspace and then type in the correct number. I know I'm just going to go ahead and use the same number because I do not want to actually change any of the data. I just want to show you how it works. Uh, and you can go through and you just edit each cell the same way that you would edit it in any other HTML type table. The only difference is that this has the table cells already created for you. Once we have the information correct in the table, we can scroll to the bottom of the page and save our changes. You click on Save Changes and you should get a success message right below it. Saving was successful and it was uh, saved. Then you can go back to the front end of your website looking at the page that the, the table is on. It's on the donor page. In order to see the changes, if you already had your page open, be sure to refresh or reload the page and it will reflect the new information immediately. This concludes the tutorial for editing the donor table. Thank you very much and I look forward to another training soon.